Would you like to learn how to use this universal drilling tool for DMS motors from Aerotech? That's what I'm going to cover in this video, and I'll be right back after this short announcement. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. I was out on the rocket field yesterday and one of our customers was using a DMS motor like this one right here. And they were trying to figure out how to use the universal delay drilling tool, which is this one here. Uh, basically, it's a drill that will drill into the delay on the top end of the motor so that you can adjust the delay. So this one starts with a 14 second delay and say you wanted to get down to um, about eight seconds. So you would have to remove six seconds from this motor to get down to, to an eight second delay. Um, the way you do this is with this drill. Um, and what you typically do is you take this end right here and it says four, inch, four seconds off, four seconds removal and you stick that against the motor and then you take the drill and you drill into it and when you feel it going into the propellant inside you know you're removing the right amount and when you get down to the bottom um, that's where you'll stop. Uh, the problem was that when he put it in he was spinning and spinning and spinning but he wasn't getting into the delay so he came to me. Um, the problem is that the drill, the length was wrong and it has to be adjusted and yours might need adjustment too. So what you're going to need is a small screwdriver to unscrew the drill from the knob. Um, so I'm unscrewing it and then it allows you to remove it completely. So what you'll do um, you're going to need this other washer. This washer, the thickness of it is two seconds. Uh, and you're going to need two of these. So I went into my range box and I got my other delay drilling tool. This one is for RMS motors. Uh, we're not covering that today, but it has an identical washer. So I'm going to take that washer and I'm going to use both of them. So the end that says minus four seconds, put that against the, the motor and then put the two washers on top and then drop in the drill like this. Um, then we're going to take this knob and we're going to put it on top. So now two washers equals four seconds. So now the, the drill is touching the propellant Then I'm going to put the knob back on top and then I'm going to tighten it down using the screwdriver. Okay. So now when I pull the washers off and I put the drill in, you can just barely see that it's, um, it's sticking up and the distance it's sticking up is four seconds because each of these is worth two seconds. So now when I drill into it, I can feel it going into the propellant and now I've removed four seconds and the excess you can just dump out oops, like that. Now if I wanted to remove eight seconds or if I wanted to uh, get down to my six second delay um, I, would, I would put the eight second on like this and then drill again. See now when I, I stick in since I've already drilled out four seconds um, this is only going to go in just so far but you can see that the remaining part is now four seconds. It's about two washers, and so then I would just drill down again. So that is how you do it. Oh, if you wanted to get um, just to remove six seconds, I would put one of the washers on and then drill in, and it's only going to go in another two, uh, another two seconds, so then I've taken a total of six seconds off. So I hope I didn't confuse you but your delay drilling tool might need some adjustment before you can use it. Um, the one that I saw yesterday on the field did, but it's a simple adjustment. You can do it. 
If you need any help, give us a call at Apogee Components. Um, our web address is www.apogeerockets.com. Thanks for watching. May the winds be light. May the skies be blue. May all your rockets fly straight and true.